CropX combines advanced cloud technology with affordable sensors in the ground. CropX technology scans your field and analyzes its different zones. CropX, the internet of soil. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Vegetables West Magazine, reporting to you from the UC Research Station at Five Points, where today Tom Torini from the UC Cooperative Extension held a vegetable crop pest seminar, and he began the meeting today talking about stink bugs entering into the field and the problems that they could cause for growers. And here's Tom Torini to expound upon it. What we've seen in Fresno County has been Consper stink bug, and the issue has been that the feeding damage is early enough in the season that we will then get uh, the collapse of the fruit. Um, there will be yeasts and other fungi that will break down the fruit. So either we lose the yield or the fruit is graded as, as, as a mold. And so it, it's made substantial economic impacts. Uh, we've been working on identification of overwintering sites, looking at seasonal population development. Take a look at the potential of using a uh, pheromone baited trap to help us schedule applications and detect the stink bug at early stages of population development within the field. And then we've looked at insecticides. And, and so not many of the insecticides appear to have a great deal of activity under our conditions. What has consistently worked for us has been uh, warrior or some pyrethroids and some neonicotinoids and believe that part of the the challenge is to get the contact, get it deep enough in the canopy where it's able to get contact with the, with the stink bug. And so we started taking a look at that as well. As far as identification of the overwintering site, um, it's not going to be that easy to find all of the sites, but we found one. And so now we have a sense of what that's likely to look like in this area. And it's heavy, heavy cover under a permanent crop is where we found it. Um, they're not very dense, so it would be easy to overlook. But it was near a, a very heavy uh, late infestation in a fall uh, tomato crop and so it's that kind of site where you would think that maybe anything that there's cover under might be a place where they're overwintering and then they would come out and what we found is under the conditions over the last several years it's consistently been March and April where we start capturing them in these pheromone baited traps and and then we find them in grains, we find them in mustards, and so they're, they're starting to build in these, in these other crops or in these weeds, and then if we plant the tomatoes, they come into the tomatoes later in the season. Um, we looked at these pheromone baited traps, and it does look like most seasons we were able to detect them in the traps before we could find them in the canopy. One year we found it in the canopy before the traps. So it's not a substitute, but it's something that can help us. They're not that easy to find before we get substantial damage. Thanks, Tom. Well, keep an eye out for these smelly pests and let's keep them out of the field. Learn more by reading Vegetables West magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.